Smooth Gang, Shooter Crew. It's your boy, Mr. Smooth 152, aka the Shooter. And you already know what it is when you see my face up on the screen, right? Yeah, story time for that ass. Salute to y'all. So thanks to y'all for y'all running them views up for me, hitting that like button, keep it going. You know what I mean? Tell a friend to tell a friend to come through, hit that like button, hit that sub button, and become part of the Smooth Gang. You already know what it is when it's on the side, right? All love. Let's get to it. Today's flavor. Oh boy, oh boy. Went back to the old days and got me some motherfucking sour power right quick. You already know, you know? So, um, let's get ready to get into story time right quick. Let's go. Yes, sir. Can't go wrong with some old sour right here. Even though, like, it ain't like it used to be. But still give you that smack, though. But let's get into the story time. Boom. Story time takes place, you already know, a while ago. Don't want to incriminate myself. Shit is over with, you know? So, boom. Me and Cuz, right? We link up. You know what I mean? No, matter of fact, he had called me. He had called me one day. And he was like, Yo, I, I, slide, I slid past your crib one day. And I seen you on the porch with two chicks. Yo, who was that? I was like, yo, where you at? He was like, I'm about to come slide through. I said, I'm in front of my building. He said, where? I said, I'm in front of 470 and shit. So he come through and pulled up in front of 470 and shit. Now everybody know, 470 used to be the hangout spot. They got this, they got this long ass driveway on the side of the building with this wall, with a gate. And used to be in that motherfucking driveway right there. Burning down, drinking and all types of shit. Getting in her mad shit, running sales out that motherfucking little driveway right there and all types of shit right there. So, that's where I was at. Over there chilling and shit. He pulls up, I hear the music banging. He come up the street, pulled over, I jumped in the car, he slides out. So we riding around. But he's like, who was the two chicks? Uh, like, one name India and the other name is Chrissy. Yeah, like, yo, put your boy down. I got you. But I think they gay, though. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I can see what I can see for you, but you already know how that go. Nah, he bet. Boom. So I said, look, slide through there. Don't even stop. I mean, if they out there, you know what I mean? I'll jump out the car and talk to them and shit like that. We can do our thing then. He's like, I bet. <clears throat> so we headed back. When I, on my side of town and shit, because we had already hit his side of town and shit, Central Ave and shit. We was up and down Central Ave right quick, and then we slid back on my side and drove through Clinton. She never got the block, you know what I mean? She was a dark skinned, well, brown skinned chick. She was gay. She had a, a light skinned stud boyfriend, or well, girlfriend. Light skinned, she was big, you know what I mean? Wore glasses and shit. And India, she was gay too, right? And she had a little girlfriend. Named Jaime. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. It, it was it was wild. It was wild. So, me, myself, I know a lot of females. So, being that India was gay, she asked me, did I have any friends? Because she didn't want to deal with her little headache that she had going on. Right? So, boom. I linked her with my people, Suave, and shit, right? So, her and Suave got linked up. Know what I mean? So, cuz spit a little game, and I don't know what happened, because I kind of, like, dipped off a little bit, and I was out there in the street. So, whenever I wasn't out there, he probably came through and was chilling with them or whatever. But, yeah, I, I linked everything up. She told me to get out the car. So, he jumped out the car and shit, and she was like, oh, damn, that's what's up. Okay. I might just switch teams again. And I'm like, Y'all females is crazy. Y'all could just switch teams like that. I thought laughing and walked off. I went back to the car and shit. Opened the passenger door. I got my weed out the car and shit. And I closed the door. And the music was bumping, so I'm standing there on the blunt. You know what I mean? And we they on the porch and shit. I'm over there rolling the blunt and shit. I thought I the blunt walking on the porch with them. So we all on the porch laughing and joking and kiki ha ha laughing and shit. And India and Cuz, 
took off for a ride right quick. I right, boom, they skated off. So it was me and Chris on the porch. So boom, we on the porch. I told I asked my man to go down the street to look at stuff for me right quick. He went and got a bottle and came back. We on the porch drinking and shit, smoking till they pulled back up. So now be everybody out there smoking and shit. So we got there laughing and shit. So they like we like, how long you gonna be out here? We out here all night. I right, bet, cool, we're gonna slide back through. So me and Cut jump in the car, we skate off. Get in the car with Cuz. Cuz like, hey yo. This was his thing. When he driving, and he driving the clutch. So in between shifting gears, that nigga would take his hands off and slap my leg like, hey yo. So I'll be sitting there laughing like, what's up? He like, yo, she gonna get it. She can get it. I'm like, All right, do what you think. Do your thing, cuz. He's like, yo, how the fuck? Yo, nigga, nigga, I, I smoke weed. Everybody smoke weed. I, I sell weed. I smoke weed. So, yeah, that's how I met them. They, they like weed and all types of shit. So, that's how I met them. So, he's like, yo, my nigga, you, uh, yo, you always around something good or got something to cut, laid out, ready for something to happen. I'm like, yeah, cuz, I'm already on deck for that. So, we riding around and shit, so, he was like, what's up for the night? I don't know what you want to do. He was like, yo, call him. I asked him if they want to slide out tonight. Do they want to slide out? Okay. What you want to do? Because you don't really smoke and you don't really drink. He was like, I sip a little something, something, you know what I mean? But I ain't smoking. I take a few pulls, fuck it with you. You know, because you always in my motherfucking car, burn it down. So I'm always going to catch a contact. So I take a few pulls. So I cut him up like, yo, what y'all doing tonight? They was like, we ain't doing shit. Y'all want to hang out with us? They like, yeah, we all right. I said, y'all little girlfriends ain't around there no more. They, like, nah, fuck them. We, they, they, they get on. So I'm like, yo, we on Central Ave and um, Clinton right now. So I bet we on our way over there. So they pulled up. They jumped in the car with us. And we slide out. We ended up going down to the motherfucking neck and shit. To the movies and down there and shit. Chilling with them. Bugging the fuck out. You know what I mean? Then, after the movies, we slid out to the motherfucking buffet and Elizabeth and shit next to Foreman Mills. That shit used to be the spot. We had a food fight in there one time, too. I ain't tell that story time about that shit. But we had a big-ass food fight down there with the niggas that lay down there in the motherfucking project that's gone. It's tore up down there now. I think it was Seth Borden. Yeah, them niggas down there. We had a food fight with them niggas. But, yeah, back to the story. Um, Yeah. We meet up. We go down there. Have fun in the movie theater. Be in the motherfucking buffet now eating. Wilding out. Having jokes and shit. So to me, I'm just like, I'm just chilling. I ain't pressing nobody or none of that shit. I'm just dead. You know what I mean? I'm a nigga that's selling weed. I smoke. I joke. Chill with him. You know what I mean? Because trying to put a thing down on Indian and shit. Kind of working. You know what I mean? So, boom. Everybody jump up. We, we pay all our shit. And we out. <coughs> India car is in front of the building where my cousin live at and shit. So, we had to go back to their car and shit. So we pull in front of the building and shit. Cause park the car, we jump out. Oh. What y'all about to do? Y'all about to slide back on the other side of town? They like, nah, we over here with y'all for a minute. Know what I mean? What's up? He live over that way, so when we leave, he going with us. When you ain't gotta go nowhere, you can just go around the house. Alright, cool, that's what's up. That. So we all in front of the building, rolling up again, smoking. We got little bottles out there, having some funny shit, just going crazy. And these niggas decide to wanna dip off in the crib or I mean the hallway or some shit and dip off. I think she had to go to the bathroom or something. He was like, come on. Took up there to the bathroom. And they was up there for kind of a long minute. You know what I mean? That was kind of a long bathroom break. You know what I mean? I ain't going to say nothing, but damn, cuz. You know what I mean? So they come back outside. We all outside bugging and shit. So, Crazy was like, I'm ready to slide in the house. I'm drunk as hell. All that. She ready to slide in the crib and shit. So, whoa. Gay cub that. Yo, when you bounce up, come holler at me. You know, like, right. I said, what time do you have to work tomorrow anyway? I think I got, I'm on the schedule for motherfucking 2 o'clock. He like, I gotta be there. I mean, open it. Well, when you go to open it, come get me. He like, I right, bet. What time is that? He's like, I gotta be there at 1. I mean, 12. I right, bet. Cool. I'll be ready. So I jump in the car with them. We slide out. She's like, that nigga sexy as hell. Okay, 
That voice, the girl that you hit, they were talking about this nigga the whole way back. I'm like, oh shit, damn. So with the back, I'm in the back seat. While they talking, I'm texting cuz and pressing the record button so he can hear the conversation of them talking about him and shit. And he shit, he said, yo, when you get in the crib, hit me. So I get in the crib, I call the nigga like, hey, what's up? Like, yo. She asked me to come in. And she came out the bathroom. I was standing by my in my room, sitting in a chair. You know, the, the um, little desk chair? I'm like, yeah. I was sitting in the chair, and I was rocking back and forth in that shit. Don't you know Shorty came up there, turned around and started dancing on me and shit while I was sitting in the motherfucking chair? Then she go turn around and reach back and grab my Johnson and shit. I'm like, oh, shit. So what happened? He said, I pulled that bitch out on her. <laughs> I said, so what happened? He said, I got a little quick. <laughs> guac, guac, right quick. Came back downstairs. I ain't want to leave a nigga down there tweaking and shit. All right, cool. So it's like, yeah, that shit fat as hell. So the ass fat. She, she, why she with it? I like, right, bet. You know, I'm gonna try my motherfucking hand at this shit too. Fuck it. You know what I mean? So <coughs> we linked up. He, they dropped me off at the crib. I called cousin and all that shit. Boom. Cuz come get me for work. Boom. They hit me, like, yo, what time y'all got, what time y'all going to work? He said, where y'all working anyway? I said, we were at Domino's. She was like, what time y'all going? I said, you come to get me at 12 and shit. We already here, basically. So he's like, tell him I said, call me. I said, so why you just, why you just didn't call him first? Because I wanted to speak to you first. Word. All right. We outside right now. I bet we coming down there. So boom, we go down. I'm sure they come down there and shit. So at this time, I was working at Domino's from from three to ten, and then I walked up the street to the uh, the BB Emico and was working there from eleven to seven. So I was I was I was getting that cake back then. So oh. She pulls me to the side and be like, yo, listen, I need you to do me a favor. I'm like, what? She's like, I'm tired of this bitch. I'm like, who? She said, my girl, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to babysit for a minute. I got you. I got you. What you mean you want me to babysit? She's like, I'm going to leave her on you for a minute. I got to go handle my business. I got some things I got to do. And she fucking not trying to be all nosy and shit, trying to figure shit out. I don't need you in my business. You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. So somebody else doing what you're supposed to be doing. I'm like, oh. So she was like, if you do that for me, I got you. Cool. I'm thinking it's going to be for a couple of hours. <laughs> my nigga, when I tell you, listen. She dropped that chick off at me. When I got off work. 7 o'clock in the morning. She called my phone at 10 o'clock. Yo, I'm about to drop off to you. All right, yo. Cool. Lucky I ain't have, uh, I had the day off, so I'm straight. I ain't had to work at Domino, so cool. So, she calls me. I got outside. Boom. I meet her friend, I mean her girlfriend and shit. Oh, little tomboy looking ass chick, know what I mean? Ain't high me. Know what I mean? She wasn't ugly, she was cute, know what I mean? But she was just like a little thug, that little, that little girl, know what I mean? So, we, she drop off, I'll be back later to come get you. Later. Now, you already know, black folks later mean hours later, a day later. Or days later, which one you think it was? Hit that in the comment section for me. How long you think it came? How long you think it took before she came back and got her girlfriend? And what do you think happened in the process of her girlfriend staying with me while I was babysitting? Hit the comment section and see what happened. Tell me what happened. Let me know. Mhm. Mm so boom. Cuz called me like, yo, what you doing? 
I ain't doing shit but babysit. He is like, babysit. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I told Shorty, hey, take this weed, take this blunt, roll up. And I stepped out the room on her. Boom. Left in the room. Stepped out on the phone with cuz. I walked to the bathroom and shit. I'm on the phone with cuz and shit. So he was like, what you mean babysitting? I said, yo, India chick dropped up a girl off over here and told him about, yo, babysit her for me. She had something to do. Shit like that. I'm thinking that she trying to link up with you so y'all can do your thing. He was like, you smart. Because she just texted me and told me her Addie and told me to slide through. Oh, word? Yo. <laughs> this chick over here? Hey, hey, yo. I'm not responsible. You know what I mean? He was like, it's like that. I'm like, yo, it's... Pfft. You, bro, you already know, cuz. It's gonna happen. So he's like, it's like that? My nigga, I'm gonna show you. You're gonna pop around. He's like, I'm gonna hit you soon. I finish with this over here. I like, right, bet. Deep down inside, I was type hot that this nigga was about to crack the shit before I got a chance to crack the shit. I was type hot. But I ain't gonna hate. Go ahead, cuz. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So, boom. I go back in the room with Shorty and shit. She done rolled up. Now, what she got there, she had on some jeans. Right? I come back in my room. She laid across the bed. And what fucked me up was a pair of boy shorts or, like, boy short thongs or something like that. And she laid across the bed in her sports bra. So I'm looking like, okay, what's this? So I ain't react on it right away. I just stood there and looked like, man, you got comfortable mighty quick. Like, the fuck? Hmm. Came in, closed the door, turned the TV on. Boom, because she was sitting there on her phone with no TV on. Turned TV on and shit. Sparked up with the blunt, shorty. So she sparked the blunt, turned over there on her back, and she laying there on her back, the pillow, just laying there smoking. Hand it to me, sports bro, boy short thongs, some shit like that, and she just chilling. I got this look on my face, and I know it's kind of saying confused, like, okay, when you got here, you had on all your clothes. But I go out in the bathroom to use the phone and come back to you comfortable laying across my bed. Hmm. So I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, yo, you like dudes? She's like, I only been with one dude in my life. You only been with one dude in your life? She's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, so everything else but a female on your half, huh? She's like, yeah. I said to this how you chill with niggas? She's like, you the homie. I'm the homie. She said, I heard a whole lot about you. Yo, you be cool as hell. Word? So in my mind, my little antennas went up like, they went back and talking about me for what? I'm just the weed nigga. Like, the fuck? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, they, they told me all about you. You cool as fuck. You know what I mean? You be out here bugging out with them and all that type of shit. <clears throat> just don't hook my girl up with no other bitches. I ain't not like that, y'all. So, she is like, <laughs> when she said that shit, I'm like, all right, cool. I ain't gonna get down like that on you. So, we spoke back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I gotta go to the bathroom. Where the bathroom at? So, open the door. I said, the door you came in, right next door to that door, the bathroom. She was like, all right. She gets up. And she walks off. Now, I'm a nigga. You know I looked. I turned my head. And I wanted to see how it looked when they walked off. Because she didn't close the door behind her. She walked straight out the room and down the hallway to the bathroom. So I'm looking. And she had some cake back there. I'm like, damn. No fucking baggy ass jeans that you be wearing behind the shit. You know what I mean? Because I seen her before, but never knew that was her girlfriend. Then she just, she just came out the house, she gave us something, and she got back up and went back in the crib. 
She came out the crib. She got something from India. Turned back around and walked off. No hug, no kiss, no nothing. So I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe it's a friend. I never knew until she told us that night on the porch that that was her girlfriend. All right, cool. She comes back out the bathroom. Now, she closes the door. Boom. Get back on the bed. Boom. She takes the pillow and put it at the foot of the bed. Now, she's facing me. And I got a couch in my room, so I'm on the couch. And I'm looking at her. We sitting there talking and shit. TV on. Anything. We talking back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. She's like, why you way over there? Huh? Why, why I'm with, oh, okay. I see what this is. Oh, all right. So in my mind, I'm thinking, yeah, it's already been set up to come like this. I right, cool. No problem. I'm going to play right along with this shit. I'm going to play dumb, dumb, dumb. What you mean, why are we over here? I'm the homie. Why, why would I be over there? She's like, nigga, come over here and chill with me. All that. We just across the room. Get the, come, come get close. You, this your house, right? Why you sitting on the couch like you scared? Oh, you want that type of time. Cool. All right. I slide over there. I sit next to her. We sit there conversing, talking back and forth. Out of nowhere. Like I said, shorty was laying on the bed, on the pillow, talking to me. Now she's laying like this, talking to me. But out of nowhere, shorty jumps up on her knees. Grabs me by my chest, pulls me close, and tongues me down. Oh, it's about to get cracking up in here. Word. I, I know what it is. Oh, word, that's what you want? That, that's how it's going? She started laughing. Takes the pillow, throws it at the head of the bed. What's up? Say no more. I got up and went to the bathroom. Go handle my handle right quick. Come back out. I had a desk on the other side of the room. I go on the desk, pull the top drawer, grab the condom out, slap him on. Come here. Jump up on that shit. Come on. Start trashing that shit. Yo, it took me at least, at least a good 10 minutes just to fight that tight shit to get up in there. Right? So I'm in there. Start trashing that shit immediately. Start going, start going, start going. Shorty takes her legs, wraps them shits around my motherfucking waist, and start throwing that shit. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like, hold on, cowgirl. Okay. We in there. We at it. Right? She takes her legs, unloosen them shits, put them back down. I jump up, hit her from the back. Boom. Push her head down. And I'm trashing that shit, right? She takes her legs and puts them shits around my legs and locks her feet. Around my legs. So I'm like, oh shit. Yo. <laughs> she grabbed the pillow, put that shit on her head and did like this. Her whole body just started shaking. And all of a sudden she just started sliding forward and she just laid on the bed. Look at her eyes. Like, are you good? She's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Bet. So I go in the bathroom, take that shit stuff in the toilet and flush that bitch. Wash my shit off. I come back in the room. We got a cigarette right there on top of the dresser. So she gets up, grab a cigarette. Boom. Get a cigarette. She sits on the bed and she's looking at me. She's like, you know you ain't done, right? Oh, so that must mean you stand here all night, huh? She was like, what you mean, no? No, I was told that I had to babysit you. She was like, oh, that's what we call it. Oh, so this was all planned, huh? She was like, yeah. She said, because she said, my girl seen that your cousin and you were inseparable. So she was like, this is the only way that we can get y'all apart. Like. All she had to do was say she wanted to fuck. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But it was a trade-off. Oh, okay, okay, but cool. I'm with it. And mom's the word. Bet. 
So we sit there, we roll up again, we smoke and we talking and shit. Are you hungry? Yeah, come on. We get up, get dressed. We run to the store and shit. Grab some food. Come back to the crib and shit. Sitting there watching TV, talking, laughing, smoking. And let's just say for the rest of the night, it was a wild night. You know what I mean? This shit was going crazy. But it's your boy, Mr. Smooth152, a.k.a. The Shooter. Until the next time, I'm gone.